All right, guys, we decided to go back with another episode. Saturday. Sure. Going with last week's theme. Alpine Air. Alpine Air. Alpine Air. So this is three berry crumble. Blackberries, blueberries, strawberries, and apples. What? 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 Clearly a dessert. Where the f*** did you get the apples from, though? Yeah, that's not really a berry. With a brown sugar hint of citrus sauce. So it is one serving size per. per. One. Yep. Okay. Serving size one package. Oh. Half the package Wait, or full package. So, Why would you need half the package? So just read for the full package, clearly. Full package is three fat, zero saturated fat, zero trans fat, zero cholesterol, 135 sodium, 95 carbs, zero fiber, 70 grams sugar, holy shit, and two grams of protein. What is this, like 12 bucks? 13. Yeah. For the one serving item. It looks like it says 2021. Oh, wait, no, no, it's 27, because that's what the other one uh, was. So three, four years. It says open pouch, remove oxygen absorber, remove crumb packet, and set aside. Add three quarter cups of boiling water. That's oh, boiling water. Okay. Let it stand for ten minutes. Sprinkle Oreo crumbs over top and serve. Oh, it's Oreo. <laughs> I guess. That's Oreo. Like no scent. I smell like a faint, like walking into the produce section of a. It smells like someone vaped in the next room. Holy shit. What? It's, yeah, it is nothing but fruit. Mom told me you're fruity enough for both of us. This is true. She has said that. <laughs> it's like baby fruit, dude. I see what you mean. Why wouldn't it be like a graham cracker crumble? Right? Graham cracker would make sense, but Oreo seems a little weird. Right, so right across the top, I got like a chef. It went about 12 minutes. That's pretty banging. That's good. It's really good. That's really good. It's like almost like candied fruit. And then the Oreo crunch is like, whoa. McDonald's apple pie, if they ever came yeah. out with better flavors. Yeah, like an Oreo McDonald's apple pie. Yeah. The citrus, by the way, I do taste it. The I can citrus. literally measure how deep the spoon goes by how much you like it. The more you like it, the deeper the spoon goes in the jar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're right, though. We question the Oreo crumble. It's actually perfect. Yeah. I, well, no, I mean, I think graham cracker would have been good, too. Mm-hmm. It needed the crunch. If it didn't have the crunch, it would be weird. Oh, if this was just the fruit, it'd 100%. Be like, it's like gelatinous, but yeah. in, in a good way. Phenomenal flavor, actually. It tastes like an Oreo dipped in, like, strawberry milk. Yeah. That is a win on taste, for sure. Every bite kind of has a different little overtaking mm -hmm. flavor. Like, yeah, because I got strawberries and then apple. Prep is easy. It's it's literally, you're doing the exact same thing as all the other foods, but with an extra step of just pouring some cookie crumbs on. But for this particular meal, it feels like a little more prep than necessary. But the heat did, no, the heat was good. The it, heat was a definite added bonus. That would warm, like on a, on a cold camping trip or something. That would warm you up, like, nice. Like, you'd, you'd feel good about it. A taste of home type stuff. There's really no nutritional value. That's the downside. Um, yeah. I mean, you, it's something, it, but... It's like one protein, you know? It, it is a lot of fruit. You're going to get a lot of that natural sugar bonus. There's 70 sugars. It's good for hiking, for right, sure. <sighs> yeah, this is $13. All right, so price point... Not the best value. Uh, for prepping? Okay, not bad. But it's only good for four years. Mm. Bad. Price point, I'm planning a hike. You know, I could throw a couple Nutri-Grain bars, a couple Cliff bars, beef jerky, pistachios, whatever you can think of, like trail mix, and have 
a hundred times the nutritional value of this. To me personally, I don't think it's a hiking thing. It could be camping for like, you know, the kids and shit maybe. We've also done at this point better desserts. I don't want to give it a stamp just because I know this company hasn't gotten a stamp. And as much as I enjoyed the taste of it, there's too many other categories. We're deciding to not accept shelf life for Alpinair. We're trying to be lenient, but it's still the price point on top of it. But even if you're going camping with the family, right, and you're going to pull your car up and camp at a campsite, mm -hmm. you can get a cherry pie. Hey, you you and, s'mores. And put if it you next, got kids, yeah, you like, get them s'mores. You know what I and mean? And put it next to the fire. I'm sorry, Alpinair. I mean, it gets like a thumbs up. It's good. Uh, yeah. Like, like if you're just looking for flavor and you happen to find it on sale, go for it. That's it. It's just, it's not stamp worthy, but of the Alpinairs, it, this is my favorite one. I think. Yeah. It, it def no brainer. Unless you're going like Appalachian Trail for three, four days a clip. You don't really need full meals. You know, you pack beef jerky, trail mix, all that good shit, and that's all you're, you're good. I know someone that's done it and, you know, had packages waiting at each stop, you know, so it was constantly fresh food and all. So I don't know where it fits in the hiking category. You bring your girl up to a scenic overlook, put on a blanket. You want some berry crumble, baby? <laughs> it's cheesy, but that's, you know. It's the most you're going to get out of this. Like, subscribe, follow us on Instagram, hit that bell. Guys, check out the Amazon storefront. We're going to put links to everything down in there. Guys, other than that, New Age Tactical. Over and out.